Oh, hello, Mrs. Gladstone. I mean, sugar pie? Yeah. Oh, you want to fool around? On the phone? Whoa, okay. Uh, how about you can be the innocent little milkmaid, and I'll be the naughty stable boy. Yeah? Oh, uh, no, we can't, we can't play today. No, 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 I have too many appointments. We can play on Thursday. Thursday. Thursday! Yeah, we can play on Thursday. All right, then. What are we gonna play? Uh, we can play the, the Contessa and the Chauffeur. Okay? All right, then. I'll see you then, Contessa Mio. What? You want a little bit? All right, a little bit. Um, all right, all right, all right, okay. Uh, uh, I can't keep my eyes off of you. Uh, how am I supposed to drive when you drive me mad? All right, all right, okay? Okay, okay, goodbye. Oh, oh, and on Thursday, don't forget the checky. No, 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 don't forget the checky. We can't produce plays without the checky. All right, all right, bye-bye. Have you been there this whole time? Uh, what are you doing there? Why are you in my, why are my hallway? Why are you loitering? I'm scared, can't talk. All right, take a deep breath, <laughs> get it out slowly, and tell me who you are. My name's Leo Bloom. I'm an accountant. I was sent here by White Hole Marks to do your books. Oh, you're an accountant, huh? Then account for yourself! Uh, sir, I... Oh, go! Do the books. They're in that desk right over there, top drawer. The king of Broadway. Six shows running at once. Lunch at Delmonico's. Two hundred dollar suits. And look at me now. I'm wearing a cardboard belt. <laughs> you have ten seconds to change that look of pity into one of extreme respect. One. Two. Do the books. Do the books! Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Cough. Cough. Ahem. Ahem. Oh, rump. I assume you are making these cartoon noises to attract my attention. Am I correct in my assumption? You fish-faced enemy of the people. <laughs> I've heard your feelings. Good. What do you want? Mr. Bialystok, may I speak with you for a minute? Go. You have 58 seconds. Oh, well, uh, upon looking through your documents, 48 you seconds discovered left. that there is a serious error in the... You have 28 seconds left. Hurry, hurry, you're running out of time! And, oh, Mr. Bialystok, please, I cannot work under these conditions. You're making me extremely nervous. What is it? Oh, it's... It's nothing, it's nothing. Well, if it's nothing, then why can't I see it? Oh, no, no. Oh, my blanket, give me back my blue blanket. Oh, no, don't oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just, I've had this blanket ever since I was a little boy, and oh, I love it so much, and oh, it smells like mother, and oh, 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 oh. They come here. They all come here. How do they find me? Oh. <laughs> but, Mr. Bialystok. Yes? What can we do for you? I'm sorry, but this is no time for levity. I've discovered a serious error in the accounts for your last play. What? Where? Um, well, according to this backer's list, you raised $60,000, but the last play only cost fifty-eight. There's $2,000 here left unaccounted for. I went to a Turkish bath. Who cares? The show was a flop. Oh, it makes a great deal of difference. If this is fraud, why? If anyone found out, you could go to jail. <laughs> Why should they find out? Listen, Bloom, do me a favor. Move a couple decimal points around. It's only a thousand dollars. Listen, you're an accountant. You can do it. The word count is in your title. Oh, but that's cheating. It's not cheating. 
It's charity. Look at me, Lou. Look at me. Other men sail through life. Max Bialystok has struck a reef. I'm drowning, going under, by a society that demands success when all I can offer is failure. I'm reaching out to you. I'm reaching out to you, Blue. Don't send me to jail. Help. Help! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Help! All right, all right, I'll do it, I'll do it. Thank you, Bloom. I know I could con you. Oh, it's all right. What? Nothing, nothing, do it, do it. Okay, well, let's see. If I move these numbers around and I add these up, amazing, simply amazing. But under the right conditions, a man could stand to make more money with a flop than he could a hit. Yes, yes, it's quite possible. If the man were sure the play would fail, he could stand to make a fortune. Yes? Uh, it, yes, what? What you were saying. Continue. What I was saying... You were saying that under the right circumstances, a man could make more money with a flop than he could with a hit. Oh, yes, it's quite possible. Uh, let's assume for just a moment that you, sir, are a dishonest man. Assume away. <laughs> well, then you simply raise more money than you really need. What do you mean? Why, you've done it yourself before, just on a much smaller scale. What did I do? You raised fifty. You raised $2,000 more than you needed to produce your last play. And what did it get me? I'm wearing a cardboard belt! <laughs> Ah, uh, but that's where you made your fatal error. You, you didn't go all the way with it. A truly bold criminal would have raised a million. But the play only cost 60000 to produce. Yes, exactly. And how long did it run for? One night. See, you could have raised a million dollars, put on a $60,000 flop, pocketed the rest. But what if the play was a hit? Oh, you'd go to jail. You'd have to pay off all your backers, and with so many backers, why, there simply wouldn't be enough money to go around. Get it? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, for your little scheme to work, you would need to find a sure fire flop, right? Uh, scheme? What scheme? Your scheme, you bloody little genius. Oh, no, 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 no. I meant no scheme. It's just a little like, academic accounting theory. It's just a thought, really. Bloom, worlds are turned on such thoughts. Listen to me, Bloom. Step one, it's so simple. We go out and find the worst play in the world, a sharp flop. Step two, I go out and I raise a million dollars. There's a lot of little old ladies in the world. Step three, you go back and do the books. A list of backers, one copy for the government, one copy for us. Step four, we open on Broadway, and before you can stay, step five, we close on Broadway. Step six, we go to Rio de Janeiro! Oh, Rio, 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 Rio. Oh, I want that money! <laughs> oh, I think I fell on my keys. <laughs> oh, gotta get out of here. You wretched, cowardly little caterpillar. Don't you want to become a butterfly? Don't you want to flap your wings towards glory? Oh, you're gonna jump on me. Oh, you're gonna jump on me, I know, like Nero jumped on Papia. What? Oh, Papia, she was his wife, she was unfaithful to him, and he jumped on her up and down, up and down, until he squashed her like a bug. Please, I'm not gonna, gonna jump on you! Get uh, a hold on yourself! Don't touch me, don't touch me! Oh, What's wrong with you? What's the matter with you? I'm not gonna I'm hurt you! I'm hysterical, I'm having hysterics, I'm hysterical. When I get like this, I can't stop, I'm hysterical. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm wet! I'm hysterical and I'm wet! Oh, I'm in pain! Oh, I'm in pain, I'm hysterical and I'm wet! Oh, don't hit, don't hit! It only increases my sense of danger! What do you want me to do? You're making me hysterical! What do you want me to do? Oh, go over there! Go over there, you frighten me! Oh, okay? Oh, Alright, oh, I am all the way over here. Is that better? Oh, a little. But, but you still look angry. <laughs> oh, is that better now? Oh, yes. 
Thank you, that's much better. I can really, really feel myself coming out of it now. The smiling helped. Thank you for smiling. Oh, it's no problem. You know what they say, smiling. The world smiles with you. <laughs> the man should be in a straitjacket. <laughs> You're feeling better now. <laughs> a little bit, thank you, but I'm feeling rather hungry. The hysterics have a way of depleting one's blood sugar, you know? Oh, they certainly do. They certainly do. Come, let me take you out to lunch. Oh, well, that's very kind of you, Mr. Galistog. But oh, I... Nonsense, nonsense. I lowered your blood sugar. The least I could do is raise it up a little. And I promise faithfully that I will not raise up the little scheme of ours to, you know, raise a million dollars. Avanti. Thank you, sir. After you, you bloody little genius. <laughs>